So um, since the beginning of March, there is this new uh, coronavirus pandemic and we are almost all in our houses getting stuff delivered. We have no employment rights really, There's no sick pay, no holiday pay. You don't care about your stuff, how they're delivering their food, how they get attacked by night. It's my life, it's my bike, I have to pay the rent, I have to eat. They are in the front line of the crisis. Una alternativa es eh, autodeterminar el, el trabajo. We just have to use the latest tools that were created by capitalism and just extend them to implement socialism. We are plotting their demise under under the same platforms they, they, they build for themselves. The people delivering things at homes are maintaining the society alive. My name is Cristina. I'm a career here in Madrid come from Latin America. I started a, a call. It's called La Pajara Ciclo Mensajería. <laughs> El proyecto de La Pajara eh, es un proyecto cooperativo de seis personas aquí en Madrid que han trabajado en, eh, en algunas de, de estas grandes eh, compañías como Delivery y Globo. Y conociendo, teniendo experiencia de, del trabajo, han decidido crear su propio proyecto. Well, the working conditions here, for example, with Deliveroo, Uber Eats, had made a really difficult environment to have well-paid jobs. Like, you don't have social security, you don't have insurances, you have to put on your own bike, uh, your own equipment, your own everything. It's in a total disadvantage for the rider. Nowadays, when you're hungry, you can order food from a good company like Uber Eats or Delivery. You choose what you want, a rider will deliver your food. You pay the key company, who is also making a percentage from the restaurants. They pay the rider a small amount and keep the rest of the profits for themselves and the shareholders. In a cooperative, the rider who delivers the food also owns a stake in the organization and is paid fairly and evenly. So I'm uh, Alex, I'm 35 years old, I'm a web developer. I got into this because the brother of my ex-girlfriend, when he found this job in, in the gig economy, he was uh, really happy because he could choose how much time he, he wants to work. But it's the platform who is making the wage conditions, so they can change it when they want, and the riders, they have no, nothing to say, because they, and they need the job. The cooperative idea, it was uh, a lot of people gathered together, uh, wanting to change, wanting to create new worlds. So I started coding CopCycle as a side project. Actually, the app, it started as a clone of uh, the delivery platform. So it is a logistic software and on top there is e-commerce. We want to make a, a software uh, for bike deliveries uh, managed as a common. Aujourd'hui, ça fait un an et demi qu'on travaille à, à essayer de mobiliser un réseau de coopératifs qui serait intéressé pour mutualiser des services, dont le logiciel, mais pas uniquement le logiciel. Par exemple, la question de l'assurance, de la salarisation. En vrai, j'ai regardé la structure des données de Deliveroo en, 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 en scrutant leur page. J'ai l'impression qu'ils font pareil. Alors, en gros, il y a chaque resto, il crée toutes ses options. Euh, et ensuite, il les assigne à chaque produit, c'est comme on a fait là. Quoi. Et moi, ça m'a intéressé parce que ça permettait de réactualiser des questions euh, qui paraissent vieilles. La question du prolétariat, la lutte des classes, euh, à travers l'outil numérique, euh, à travers la numérisation. Par exemple, la, la question de la propriété collective de l'outil de production. Oh. Eh, apareces ahora. Ahí está. Ahí estás tú. Eh, mira, pone M.A. de Martino. Claro. Y voy a Calle Velázquez, 59. A la, a la orden. Aquí tiene que recoger el paquete y tiene que volver por aquí, por atrás, donde él quiera, a entregar aquí. Mira, ya está viniendo. 
Ya está viniendo, está viniendo por ahí arriba ahora. Sí, 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 es que está, es que está ahí. Mira, justo, 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 justo. Vamos, que tengo hambre. La diferencia que tenemos eh, fundamental eh, con las grandes empresas es que todo eh, lo, lo, lo que se va generando se queda en la cooperativa. Aparte de poder pagar dignamente eh, los repartidores, podemos también darles cobertura total a nivel de seguridad social y profesionalizar el, el trabajo. Hola. Hola, pedido de esto así. Sí, mire, le abro la puerta, antes del ascensor que yo llamo al ascensor para que pueda subir. De acuerdo. doing this it's revolutionary in the sense of that we are actually doing it you know that we are not dreaming about it we are a response we are an answer in spain there is la pajara in france there is the courses bordelais in bordeaux traboulot in lyon les courses nantes in nantes lille bike in lille olvo in paris belgium molen bike and uh, rayon neuf our biggest challenge is like to people to know one that we exist as a co-op and two, that co-op cycle exists as an alternative to the platforms. When we started the project at the very beginning, this was not really serious, but uh, <laughs> of course I know it's not a joke anymore. It's, uh, it's, a real it's work. really serious and it's getting more So this is Coop Cycle, a network of bike delivery co-ops operating at local scale and coordinating at a higher scale. I hope we do influence some someone else and looking for our alternatives. And if an alternative is not an option, at least to be conscious enough to ask for the rights you deserve and own.